Welcome to the second part of our tutorial series. In the first part, we got started creating our fireworks show in FWSIM. In this video, you'll learn how to set up firing positions. Furthermore, we talk about the different options for steppers. In the last video, you've learned how to create a small fireworks show with FWSIM. When you create a new show, you will see either a line or a single firing position depending on which edition of FWSIM you use. We now want to add more positions. To do that, we go to Positions and click on Add. Our new position shows up as a line. We can choose between line or point on the right side. For this demonstration, we use points only. To move this position, we have two options. The easiest way is to click the position in the 3D view, hold your mouse button and move it around. The more accurate way is to enter coordinates in the sidebar. I'll add another firing position. Place them with 100 meters distance between them and give them names. Good names are important if you work with a lot of positions. Let's add some fireworks. We start with some steppers. So we choose our desired effect and activate the option Insert several like that to be able to add multiple copies. To stop adding cues and get the mouse pointer back, press the right mouse button. Now the steppers are all placed on the same position. To change that, we have two options. We can select a different position from the list on the right. Alternatively, we can drag the two arrows around in the 3D view. In the sidebar, we have a bunch of options for our steppers. First, you can change the number of shots. You can change the angles by typing in numbers or simply use the right mouse button in the 3D view. Next, we want to change the stepper duration. There are two options to change this. The simple way is to hold your left mouse button at the end of the desired stepper on the timeline and move your mouse to the left or right. If you need an exact duration, you can simply type that into the box. Finally, we can configure how the shots are arranged. If you want your stepper to speed up or slow down, you can use the option timing. If you want your stepper to shoot in a different way, for example starting from the middle, you can change that under type. You can repeat these steps to fill your show as desired. Don't miss our next tutorial video where you learn how to work more efficiently, so you can create large shows in just a few minutes.